Okay, sweet. And then I just got to click. Ah, oh, damn it. I logged out by mistake. Ah. Uh, oh, well. Should only take me a second to reload here. Cool. We're done. That's it. That was, that was, ah, sweet. Let's get back right into the action. Hey guys, what's up? It's the Fight Launch, and today I'm going to be showing you how to exactly get what I just showed you, known as the Quick Launcher. So, Wizard 101, it takes a while to load, and that's because there are just so many worlds, so many assets, so many new files, and that's a good thing. It means the game's actually doing pretty well. And I'm going to show you how to set up what is known as the Quick Launcher, and it's pretty goddamn simple. Also, the great thing about it is that it's completely in the Wizard 101 client itself. Like, this is something that anyone can get access to, it just takes a second. As far as I'm aware, it's not going against any TOS. You're not really modifying any files in a way that's giving you like a competitive advantage or even going to hurt the company as a whole way. It's just essentially a quicker way to get into the game. So without further ado, let's do it. Now, the main thing that you need to note is with the quick launcher, I have to give this little, you know, warning. Um, whenever there's a new update, the quick launcher will not work. It just won't it won't work so you'll need to load up and actually download the newest update so anytime there's a patch or anything you're gonna have to go through the normal client just like this so you're not gonna want to get rid of this once you're done with it you're gonna want to keep it and anytime that there's an update if the quick launcher isn't working load it from the normal one and after you've loaded it from the normal one and downloaded all the new assets and whatever packets that are trying to send to your computer you should be able to then go back to using the quick launcher I only really recommend using the quick launcher for when you do crashes and you just want to get back into the game quickly, not as a normal way to load into the game because you don't know when there's going to be new updates and stuff like that. So yeah, just to avoid any issues, mainly only use it when you're like reloading very quickly or you know there's new update. So with all that out of the way, let's jump into it. The first thing you're going to want to do is go just to your normal client here. You're going to right click it and you're going to click open file location. Now, if you're on Windows 11, this is what it'll look like. If you're on older windows, you're going to have what looks like this, and it's just going to be right there at the top. So once you open this, it'll open up on your computer exactly where on your files Wizard 101 was installed. So you're going to want to go to the bin folder, which is at the very top, and scroll all the way to the bottom. There will be a little icon that just looks like exactly like our launcher here. And that's because it is. It's the graphical client. We're going to right click this and now, if you are on a older window client, you'll won't, you won't have to do this, but for us Windows 11, you gotta click show more, and then we're gonna create shortcut. So that's it, we're gonna do that, and now we have the shortcut. We're gonna drag this onto our desktop, just like normal. We're gonna just quickly go here, and we're gonna right click on it, click properties, and this will pop up this little window. In the target section, you're gonna wanna go all the way to the end, just keep pressing your arrow key, and you're going to want to add a little space. Now, the reason why you're going to want to add a space is because you're essentially adding in new parameters to the file that the computer's going to read and essentially follow that target. So that's the main thing there. Now, this is where we're going to do something that's a little bit out of the ordinary. Everything from here is pretty easy. You can even set a shortcut key, whatever you want. You can even do a normal window, minimize, maximize, whatever you want. So feel free to play around with this if you want. If you want to change the icon, you do you, man. This is how you do all that fun you know, fun little funky stuff. But what we're going to do is we're going to add this little parameter here, which is dash L space login dot us dot wizard 101 dot com. And you just need to make sure to have a space right there. Just one space between the little end of parameter of the wizard 101 graphical client from the bin folder. And you're going to want to paste this just like that. So it's going to look exactly like this. Click apply and click OK. And now when you open it up, the only downside behind this whole thing is it means that you have to actually type in your full information. So as you see, the moment I type it in, there was no editing at all there. That's literally just how it is. And now we have the game open, just like that, just like normal. And that's how you get the Wizard 101 Quick Launcher. Very simple, very quick and easy. And I hope this guy's helped you figure that out and sort it out. Leave a like, subscribe, peace out.